Houston, we're at media days for the Michigan Wolverines, and we all know this conversation starts with Harbaugh. Yeah, there's a calendar. I'll, I'll, I'll gladly talk about the future uh, next week, and I hope to have one. How about that? A future? I hope to have one, yes. I think J.J. is the best college quarterback in the history of Michigan football, college quarterback. I think the thing that made, I mean, makes him great is he's um, – He's so talented, so athletically gifted, but mentally he's so sharp. I mean, you have to be sharp as a coach um, to keep up with him because, I mean, he comes into those meetings prepared. He's already looked at the cut-ups. He's already looked at the games. You can reference a cut-up, and he knows it. Um, he's already previewed the game plan. A long way to go to get to where Tom Brady is, which is the greatest of all time. Tom Brady is the greatest football player of all time. You know, I think of who's the best college quarterback at the, in the 144-year history of Michigan football. You know, I'm nominating J.J. McCarthy. Like I get a little comfortable with every compliment I get. That's just kind of the personality that I have. But, uh, you know, I'm just tremendously grateful for him to be my head coach. And obviously all the great words he says about me means a lot. And, you know, it's just a blessing to play for him. Everything about Tom, you like... Every aspect of his life, every aspect of his uh, game, you want to aspire to be like it. And I feel like me personally, I don't like comparisons too much because we're all individually unique. We all have our different traits, our different aspects about ourselves that makes us special. And, you know, just hearing that, it just kind of gives you that uh, reassurance that you're on the right path. So with meditation being such a huge part of your process, obviously there's more pressure with every opportunity, right? This, look at this escape, yeah. right? Like, so how do you manage that pressure when you, you're such a routine-oriented person? Just keep things simple. You know, I feel like this day and age, it's so hard to be simple. And uh, just, you know, continuing to stick to my routine, my daily non-negotiables, uh, it kind of grounds me, it anchors me. And I feel like if I continue to stick to that process, then the pressure will never seep in. Did the, the controversy of this season impact any of your ability to stay centered? Uh, no. If anything, it just motivated me. You know, there's different bits and pieces throughout every single season that you could grab motivation from, and there was an uh, abundance of that this year. So uh, I feel like nothing really changed in terms of, you know, my daily routine or anything like that. It almost just put more fire to it. Everybody has a Michigan opinion this year, right? Like, everybody does. How does that fuel you guys? Man, it's Michigan versus everybody. So we just focus on the guys that's in our building, everybody that's a part of our team, our staff, our culture. And everybody else, frick them. They were trying to take our head coach throughout the year, trying to take us out of the playoffs. Like, it's really us versus everybody. The whole world kind of felt like it was against us, especially you go back to that Penn State game, right? I mean, we lose our head coach while we're flying to Penn State. And uh, the world's been against us, but I think it's just been more motivation this year to, to be better, especially as an O-line. You know, I'm just ready to, you know, finish this unfinished business. You know, it's something I've set out to do ever since I said I was coming back. And so, uh, you know, the game last week hasn't set in. You know, records haven't set in. You know, I'm just here to do everything I can to make sure, you know, Michigan gets a win.